Whoa, that was so lucky. I thought I didn't have enough. Literally cleared out my notes wallet, empty, 60p. Talk about cutting it fine. So this is it then, the very last ever Lazy Bones boot sale for me. They've confirmed this is the last one and this might be my last set of boot sales for 2021 already. The year's flown by, so I'm gonna make the most of it. Filled up obviously to sell and getting early. Welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. My name's Jewel Dross. This is Retro Reselling and we're off buying and selling at the boot sale. Boot sales, two today. Going to my first one, getting there, the latest I've ever been there. Well, this year anyway, 25 past six and it's still pitch black. Sunrise isn't until 10 past seven. I even debated whether to go until seven or not, but I couldn't hack it. I knew people would be there already. I don't know how big it's gonna be. The weather's been good for mid-October. Supposed to be getting up to 18, 19 degrees. It was nice yesterday, so people, if they did wanna sell, they will be squeezing out today. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And obviously at the second boot sale, which is the last ever one, then that's it. It was one of my favorites. It was one of like, everyone's favorites around here. It's really nice. Yeah, it's the last one. So I've got some stuff to sell, get in early, pick out all the good stuff, go straight to shoes and boots, man, uh, before everyone else gets in there. And because it's my last one, or it's the last one, he's going to be selling that there. Uh, I'm going to be picking the lot ready for winter, or not the lot, but you know, cream of the crop. And if it worth some money, I'm going to be picking up so I can last throughout until next spring. He is going to be selling. I just need to find out which one he's going to be sending that next year because obviously that one won't be there. GoPro, got it on my backpack. Let's see what we can buy at the first boot sale. Then we're we'll getting early. See what we can pick up before everyone else. See how selling gets on. Then wrap it up at the end of the unit. <laughs> Show you what I've got. It's a sad times, but we need to make the most of it. So let's get going. Let's go. How much on the video player? Video DVD? Um, I want about a tenner for that because that converts motor, doesn't it? Okay. Has it got the remote or is it just no, as it is? No, cool. okay. Yeah. I'll get that one, please. Okay. Uh, there's ten. Lovely. Right, thanks Thank for that. Thank much. you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Nice. <laughs> How much are the trainers? Okay. I'll get those, please. Okay. It's five. Great. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Not a bad start, eh? Adidas Climber Cool Trainers, five pound. Should be, you know, hopefully 30 pound, 35. Toshiba Video to DVD Recorder. It actually transfers two DVDs, or the other way around, I believe. And a hard drive as well. These can go up for 200 quid if working. I've got spare remotes for a Toshiba. 10 pound into hopefully 200, or near 200. Smashing. Sun's starting to make its way out. I think we've still got 20 minutes or so yet. And it's chilly. Oh, 
How much are the trainers down here? Ooh. Got them and... and then, do you turn up for the boat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take them, please. I think the black one's never been worn and these red ones have been worn about three times. Okay, yeah. So yeah, looking good, Nick. So, awesome. yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Cheers. Yeah, I usually have a pull-along trolley, but <laughs> I left that at home, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye. That's cool. How much on the keyboard? A couple of quid, yeah. Take that. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Back to the car. I think that's me done now. Walls ice cream maker or Walls milkshake maker, even. Two pounds into 20, 25 pounds. Not seen one of them before. This is nice. Olivetti PC keyboard, like mechanical, proper retro. These usually make typewriters, so I've never seen like a PC item made by them. Made in Italy, heavy thing. This was two pounds, hopefully 40 to 50 quid on this one. Cleaned it up, no problems. Then two pairs of trainers, had to check these were real when I was there, and they are. They like Vapor Max runs. And a pair of North Face 574 Classic. Really nice looking shoes there. Both size nines. These hopefully 30-ish pound, 25, 30. And these are pushing 100 pound. She said they haven't been worn, which might even push up the price even more if they haven't. Five pound each. Hopefully over 100 pound item there. Glad they got up. Well, that was a stroke of luck. I was finished, I was about to head off, go to McDonald's first, and then go to Lazy Bones for the last time. I thought I'd try one more time, do the last two rows, like the newest rows, and bumped into Shoes and Boots Man. That's how he gets his stock. He basically, he's not afraid to dive in people's boots as soon as they hardly park up. <laughs> that's his tactic, that's not mine, but um, that's how he gets his stock mainly. And like I say, I usually see him at the second boot sale, but he's not actually going today. He didn't realise it was the last one, he was going to go next week for the last one. But luckily he had to pick some stuff up today. It's mental what Pete he gets, like when he's not afraid to jump in people's boots. But yeah, it's better that I pay a bit more from him rather than someone else diving in people's boots, picking them up and then I never see him again. Yes, I could have got them cheaper if I get them first, but if he gets them first cheap, passes them on to me cheap, then I make the bulk of the profit, then I'm happy with that. And he's got my number, and he's confirmed, he's gonna let me know throughout the winter when he gets new stuff, if he does, uh, if he does pick stuff up at boot sales. But um, yeah, an ongoing contact, and I've seen again next week. But just from today, this is what I've spent. I spent 85 pounds with him. Obviously, there's the stuff I got before that I've shown you. Uh, 85 pounds. Put them all up here. That way, I will be cleaning the car afterwards. Um, not just putting secondhand shoes all over the dashboard. But yeah, 85 pounds. All this in total from Shoes and Boots Man. And these were unusual. Ugg slippers. I would have picked them up if they were used, but these look brand new. Look at that. Brand new Ugg slippers, size, size UK six and a half. Perfect for Christmas, obviously no box though. But um, hope I don't know what these are worth. New without box, I'm guessing 30, 40 pound maybe. Yeah, unusual. So halfway, if I sell them for like 40, that's basically half of what I've spent in total. And we've got more. Converse trainers, nothing special. Probably my least favorite shoe here, but it should be a nice 20, 25 pound again. Skechers Shape Ups. These are the shoes that have like the foamy bit here. Like if you have dodgy knees, I guess, like the older generation tend to wear them. Uh, you have to be aware of this because they can degrade. It's literally just like latex foam. I tested it out, looks good. Good condition, good men's size. Again, only 85 pound deal. These should be 40, 45 pound. So there you go, two trainers. I've already made up what I spent. These are nice. Caterpillar work type trainers, like really chunky, bulky things. Unusual, I'm not sure what these are worth. I'm guessing 25, 30, I could get out of them. 
get a good men size, good condition, nice colour as well. And then the two big daddies. We got a pair of brand new with tags, the Solivair, like work boots, brand new, unboxed. If you didn't know, Solivair make Dr. Martins of Dr. Martin's made these, they were in the same factory at one point. I think they still are actually, uh, in the England factory. These are made in England. Good condition, obviously good condition. They're brand new with the tag. Good size again. I think these new go for about 50, 60 pounds, which is really, really nice. And then best till last pair of Dr. Martin's. Look at that platform wedge on that. Again, all in the same deal, 85 pounds rainbow stitching rainbow tag so i guess this is part of their pride edition if you can see this if this will come up there you go it's like a rainbow airwear with the rainbow stitching awesome find size five again good condition these are worth over a hundred pounds even pre-owned these are used lightly used look like they've been worn a couple of times so hopefully 120 to 150 pounds for these just these alone and that is a bit of luck if i didn't bump into him i would have gone there expecting to see him and he wouldn't have been there yeah well timed i had the feeling like i need to go and check the last two rows again um so yeah luckily i did uh yeah still worth getting in early i can pick up everything else before everyone else gets in and then that is it that is the last one but let's go get some breakfast get in early see what we can get 12 pounds to get in would it be worth it of course it will Hello. Good morning. Thank you very Thank you. much. Is it the last one today? It certainly is. Yeah, okay. That's forever. Yeah, I know, yeah, it's a shame. They're retiring. Uh, a little memento for you from the Living Memorial. To put your pencil. Okay, in. oh, cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy your retirement. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there you go. Here's the last one. And I have a Living Memorial to remember it by. To put my pencils in. <laughs> Why? Why? Let's make the most of it. I seem to be in the exact same spot as the previous times. In the middle of the field of the middle aisle. Am I good? I'm good. For the last time then, engine off. Get an Ikea bag. Let's get some goodies. Come on. There's a lot of empty cars. I think people are doing the same thing. What's on the video DVD player? Tenner. It is all working. Yeah. I'm going to buy this for the walkie talkie. Okay. We do 12 for both? No, 15 for the both. It's worth okay. that, mate. Brilliant. Uh, I was going to do that on eBay. They're going for about 50 q on eBay. Alright, yeah. As it is. Okay. I'll grab that one on the side. Please. I'll tell you, you've got a for them as well. All the uh, leads are in there and everything as well. Yeah. And you've got the carry case as well. All the leads are in there, all the charger, okay. everything, all the charger point, all the instructions for it as well. Original instructions. Yeah, go on then, I'll get both of them. Cheers, yeah. You pulled me leg. <laughs> uh, there you go, 15. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, right. Have a good day, mate. Thank and you. Much. Sorry, I ain't getting bags, though. I got a bag. It's all right. Cheers, I'm prepared, mate. yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank That's you. Very right. much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good day, mate. Thank you. Right, let's put that in the... No, Yeah. That's all right, I've got it. Oh, see it? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you very much. We do that one for a couple of pounds. Sorry? We do that for two pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds? Yeah. Uh, I'll take it. It's a two pound back. 
Uh, I should have a pound. There you go. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you, much. cheers. No, we haven't got anything like that today. Yeah, no, that didn't think it was. Yeah, we didn't, um, yeah, we didn't bring that through. Okay. Oh, it's on the golf clubs. Well, all of them, or one, um, a certain one. You can't obviously take, you've got to keep some of the pairs. These are all got to stay together. Yeah, I was mainly looking at these ones. Right. Yeah. I don't know, because these woods are quite expensive, aren't they? Oops, yeah. Sorry. Um, I am just seeing what ones you got, like the matching set. Uh, yeah, so we've got that, we've got the driver, free wood, is it free? I don't know, yeah, you tell free me. Four. Yeah, free, not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose all, if you was going to buy a, the, the, the lot, yeah. probably, if you was to buy all them, I'd probably a tenner. Yeah. For the, all of them. Okay. Because that's quite good actually. Yeah. They're not bad actually. We do 20 with the irons as well, the matching irons. Which ones? All, all oh, of them? The, like blizzards. So that, oh, I see. So, 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 so that, that one, that one. Uh, not, oh, no, not that one. I think there's Pardon. a eight, seven, five. Uh, yep, that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's just these two as well. Would you do 20 for that? Just the, the matching blizzard ones with the iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get them then, please. Two signs, good for starting off. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. 20 there. Yeah, lovely. Thanks for that. I'm selling as well, so I can yeah, yeah. stick him straight in the car as well, which is handy. Do you play golf or are you going to come and start? Uh, stop and start, yeah, <laughs> yeah. especially with lockdown and everything. Yeah. But My well, dad used to teach it, so um, oh, oh, know it's good and rubbish, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it, I think. Yeah, that's good, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that was it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks. I know you got one there. I know. Oh, yeah. I think there you need to go set there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, on a par three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, no, we've got nothing like that, no. Oh, it's on that one as well. Um, <coughs> it's all there actually, I'll get it out of the field. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've never actually had one, I've always seen yeah, them. Yeah, but... they're really good. <laughs> if you can learn, so, it's all there as well, because it was brand new, I've just kept it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, three quid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that as well then, please. Yeah. you got a couple of pound change for a five. Yeah. That's all, yeah. Oops. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Right, cheers, thanks, well done. <laughs> Seems to be a theme with this one again in early in golf clubs. <laughs> How much on the shoes? Um, five. Five, yeah. Oh, them ones as well. Ten for the two then. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get them both, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Are they the same? Five on them ones as well? Yeah. yeah. I'll get them as well. While I'm here. There Lovely. you go. Thanks Thank you. Much. Thanks. <laughs> it's a training one to my son Okay, that's going to say that's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you asking on the clubs? Uh, I think that's £10 each. Yeah. The swing. Yeah, never seen that before. <laughs> no, must admit. Um, he does a lot of training, so... And my dad used to teach golf, but I haven't even heard of that. No. don't even know how it works. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, would you like to take it? I might come back for him. Okay, thank right. you. 
still working as I charged them all up last week. Then. Okay. Oh yeah, just powered on then, yeah. And it's got a better SIM card in it than what it says. Okay. How much are you asking on that one? Um, five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that, please, for five. It's got all this stuff inside. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Got it, yeah. Oh, it's in your typewriter as well, actually. Like ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that as well, please. Yeah. yeah. That's five. Thank yeah. you. So you got a bit of poodle in him as well? He's a lab poodle. I thought so, yeah. Yeah, a mini one. Yeah. Oh, that's as big as we get. Ah. <laughs> How much on your, how much on these ones? Uh, 30 quid. Yeah? That's gone. Yeah. That's gone, is it? Yeah. That's a shame. Well. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, we like mid-century stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's like a 50s or something, I think. Yeah. How much on a typewriter as well, down there? Uh, 20. Okay. okay. Would you do 20 on them? 25. 25, okay. Um, we do 15 on the typewriter? Yeah. So 40, yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't, I don't, I think that's Joshua. Ten, twenty, thirty, thirty, five. And he's like a few of the older boxes. He knows he can get a piece up on his head. Where the other one does. Two, three, four, five, fifty, 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 <laughs> um, 10, 20, 35, 40. All right. Should be right, there you go. Yeah. Got 50p left of me now. Have you? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I hope you got Sorry. a good. Yeah, yeah, I'm selling actually, so um, I'll come back for one. I took one at the time, come back. That's right, yeah. That was a close one. Oh. Wow, that was so lucky. That last deal then, I thought I didn't have enough, but with all my shrapnel, literally cleared out my notes wallet, empty, and my change pocket. Literally all the money I have on me now, 60p talk about cutting it fine but that does mean if anyone buys anything from me they're gonna have to give me the right change unless they need 60p change and yet again coming in early paying 12 pounds for a pitch obviously to sell hopefully i make some money back um yeah well worth it there's a couple of golf clubs that i now can't afford until i make some money but look at that most of that is buying stuff yeah that last deal uh hopefully an 80 to 100 pound typewriter and then bedside cabinets should be near 200 pounds. Nice matching set. I don't do furniture anymore, but they're small and compact. I can parcel, like box them up. Got a bug in my hair then. Yeah, I can box them up, so no problems there. Done really, really well. I'm gonna have to brave the pool to lose, busting.
and it's time to set up before everyone gets in. Make some money and then hopefully near the end, hopefully I've got a nice wedge of money to go around again, see if there's any other bits that I've missed out on, then get going home. And that is that for Lazy Bones Rettingdon Moot Sale. Done my selling, made a bit, probably about only 30, 40 quid. Did go around a couple of rows, but didn't find anything. I'm ready to go now, got plenty. Yeah, just a sad time that this one's finishing, but. <laughs> GoPro ran out of battery. I'm back in the unit. I'm gonna show you now what I got from the second boot sale, rest in peace. That was the last ever one. I can't believe it. That was actually the first ever boot sale I ever went to in my life, uh, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, it's the last one and that's it now. And um, luckily there is, I think there's two uh, lazy bones type one, like later starters that are hard ground as well throughout the winter. And there's also another one that I go to on Saturday. I believe they're in discussions about starting that one later as well. Because in Essex here, there's so much competition for the Sunday boot sale, like the early starts. I think they're planning on turning the lights on. They are planning on starting a bit later. So it's not all doom and gloom. Just a shame about that one. That was like one of my favorites, probably my second favorite of joint top with my Wednesday one. Uh, yeah, real chilled out, family vibe, like friendly. So the last, what was it, three or four weeks, I went in early, paid 12 pounds, set up a pitch, uh, but obviously went around early, got all the good stuff. And yet again, it's paid off. So I'm really glad I done that. I don't know why I didn't do it before to be honest, because I've got so much good stuff. Obviously the standout was them 300 pound trainers. Haven't sold yet, a few watches. I think I made an, someone made an offer, didn't accept it. Uh, but yeah, once again, I'll flip around, show you what I got just at the boot sale. Just, well, the second boot sale, just getting in early. It was well worth it. And here is everything. A whole table's worth and we're going off the table as well onto the ground. We'll start with more golf clubs. I don't know why, but getting in early, I seem to be picking up golf clubs. I don't pick them up any other time. But we've got a pair of Blizzard Phasers. Never heard of it before. I believe they're female, like women's golf clubs. There you go, Ladies Flex. Yeah, nice matching set. I don't think they're worth a huge amount, like on their own, but it's a nice matching set. Here we've got the irons here, Phaser Blizzard. Again with the Ladies Flex, like a uh, shaft. Good quality um, grips. Don't need replacing anytime soon. So we've got the driver, two woods. Oh no, three wood, sorry. And then five irons, five or six irons. Uh, 20 pound all in. Uh, should be a nice 80 to 100 pound, I like to think. Obviously we're not in golfing weather really. But um, yeah, nice matching set. Give them a scrub up. A uh, bit of elbow grease and a magic eraser from my previous video, my picking video. I use that on the heads. Here it's a bit uh, mucky, bit of mud, a few marks. But this should get the majority of it off and then sell them for a good profit. Next up, we've got this typewriter. We've got a couple of typewriters. I bought this with something else. It might have been the video camera, I think. I can't remember now, even though it's only yesterday. Uh, but we'll do these two together. Smith Corona XL1000. Not a major, major money maker. Uh, I think this was five pound I paid. It's got a spare ribbon as well, which is really handy. Instructions as well, got the cover. Should be 30 to 40 pounds, probably more the 40 pound mark. No yellow into the plastic. Looks in really nice condition, plus the extras. So yeah, probably more the £40 mark from five. Then there's this one, Silvercrest Digital Full HD Camcorder. I usually only get camcorders that take like tapes or CDs, or not CDs, DVDs. This looks like a tough camera, like um, if you drop it or if it gets wet. Oh, there you go, it's waterproof there. Waterproof up to three meters, so something a bit different. Again, I think this was five pounds, um, which is a bargain. Uh, it comes with everything you need, plus a spare battery. So I've got two batteries, instructions, similar to this typewriter, well looked after, all the instructions, five into 30 to 35. Footwear, all from the same stall, five pounds a pair. Got this Merrill or Merrell, Merrill, Merrell, uh, waterproof uh, walking boots. Obviously a bit muddy, so they'll need a bit of a clean up, but the sizes on their sides, 11 and a half, uh, Good brand to have in shoes. Five into hopefully 35, 40. Got these Timberland outdoor type shoes. They're quite funky looking, bit of mesh there. The sort of sandals, but trainers. Bit different, but yeah, Timberland. Again, five pounds, hopefully again, 30-ish pound, 25, 30. Another pair of Timberland from the same guy. Uh, there you go, Timberland. Sort of a suede, like soft suede as well. Yeah, really nice. Well looked after again. 
and again on that price range hopefully around 30 pounds so I paid 15 and if it's about 30 each ish uh, yeah 369 90 quid got these two together he pulled my arm on this one this was five pounds Binatone Adventurer 100 it's a pair of um, walkie talkies with the charger and everything case uh, I charged it at a fiver should be worth again 25 30 that sort of price range a bit tacky on the plastic on like the rubber should be able to clean it off no problem and then i got this from him as well a vhs dvd uh combi i don't think it records vhs to dvd so it's literally just the player uh but from 10 pounds should be 40 45 pounds no remote but they still sell grab this one for three pounds i also got it with this one another pair uh this is three pounds mickey and friends chess game looks nice and vintage really quirky chess games can go really well there was one piece missing but i still got it for three pounds uh, i thought i could try and set it with the missing piece or try and locate the missing piece see if someone's selling spares on ebay or if not then i can sell spares list them out break them down list each part i'm sure i could get could even probably ask four or five pounds per piece maybe if someone needs that one piece just to complete their set they could come to my listing if there's no competition and then get a lot of profit that way because if it was complete this is sort of a 30 pounds game here so obviously with my missing piece that's going to affect it but yeah i might break it down we'll see i'm quite busy and there's quite a lot of stock to get through this uh, winter so i might not have time but we'll see with that one and i think this was two or three pound as well got four pound in it but i think it was three pound i paid cards against humanity always see this and come up to christmas really good christmas game never actually played it myself uh, but no, it's a really fun game, like really funny to play. Should hopefully be a £15 flip from £3, nice and simple. Uh, should sell quick. Got this as well, actually. As you saw me play really badly. Uh, again, it's like I see all the time, Stylophone. I don't think they're worth major money, but I just wanted it to, to have a little play on it. Plus it came with its box, it was like a couple of quid, I think. Looked really nice. It's probably only worth sort of £12-ish, £12 to £15, maybe a tenner if that. Um, but yeah, works. Oh, would help if I turned it on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hours of fun with that. Then this was the pickup of the morning. We've got these uh, two bedside cabinets here with the typewriter. He wanted 30 on these and then 20 on the typewriter. I got both for my last 40 pound. I didn't even know I was like running low, but um, I agreed 40 and then suddenly I was struggling for money. Luckily I had 60p left by the time I'd done this deal. So phew, by the skin of my teeth, I'd done this deal. This Erica Pullman typewriter is worth a lot more than I originally thought. It's got this nice sort of leverette case in really good condition. Looks really well looked after again. If I can put that safely there. The typewriter itself in really good condition, nice and clean. Doesn't get stuck, so it's not rusted up or anything. So in the deal, this was £15, and these go for over £100. One went for Bite Now, over £100. One on auction went for £80. And as you know, I do Bite Now. This is going to be listed. I don't think there's any competition either. So I'm probably going to be trying 120 to 130 No competition. Really, like, perfect condition. Um... I sold a typewriter recently, uh, went to America and I got more than anyone else just because of the condition which this is similar to. So I might even message the guys that bought my other one because I collect typewriters. So could sell it quick or if not, it will sell quick anyway and for a very strong price. And in these two, again, over £100 easily. Uh, so in the deal, um, these were £25 for the pair. Nice pair of G-Plan bedside tables. Dovetail joints there sign of quality nice little drawers yeah genuine sort of 1960s 1970s things i picked them up i'm not doing furniture anymore like i used to back in the day when i first started but these are nice and compact um compared to other like furniture like sideboards and that and for 25 pounds i just had to do the deal these are going to go for at least 150 going to be pushing 185 195 nice matching set in good condition no damage just needs a little rub over and yeah, they'll just fly out. Mid-century design is hot and um, yeah, just a no-brainer really. And the final one is this Roland Rat game. Roland Rat Super Mouth game. Um, this was, what was this, two or three pounds? Made by Tony, never seen it before. 
and actually I'm going to say it now I'm going to do this uh, I'm going to be sending this in to a radio station I'm going to do a separate video on it um, but yeah it'll be interesting uh, I like listening to Radio X Chris Miles on the morning I know he's a bit Marmite but I really enjoy it and he's a massive fan of Roland Durant so I might send it in get him to play it maybe shout out the YouTube channel uh, and the business uh, so if I was going to resell this it's worth about £20 uh, but yeah we're going to do something a bit different with this so Right now, if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel now, hit the bell so you get notified whenever I go live or upload new videos, you get notified straight away. Um, and yeah, look out for that video. We're going to send it in, see if it gets featured. They might even do a video on it as well. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video very soon. See ya.